Hello guys, good afternoon. How are you this afternoon? I'm Jan Pat Tatputon, and as usual, this is my show, English in the Garden. Jan Pat Tatputon, an English teacher from Bangkok, Thailand. And this afternoon, I'm not in my garden. As you can see behind me, a lot of books. I'm in my library. Now, I have one actually idiom, an idiom to share with you. This one is very simple. Get your feet wet. You know the word feet, like wet. Get your feet wet. What does it mean? Get your feet wet means you experience uh, something for the first time. Uh, you need to get your feet wet. I mean, you need to do it yourself. You need to really experience it. Like swimming. I mean, the very meaning of this one comes from swimming. In order to swim, you do not simply read manuals or instruction about swimming or the theories of swimming. You got to get your feet wet by, you know, going down into the swimming pool and, you know, start swimming. Like, <laughs> otherwise you will not be able to swim. So you need to get your feet wet. Like coding, if you are learning how to do like programming, coding, you want to become a uh, software developer, you need to do it. It's like learning by doing. You need to get your feet wet. Uh, another application uh, is like language learning. Like if you want to be able to read, to speak, or to write in the English language, if you want to improve your English language. Uh, what you need to do is you need to get your feet wet. If you want to be able to communicate orally in the English language, you need to let English come out of your mouth and then get your feet wet. You may want, uh, you may make some errors or some mistakes. Uh, things may not work out very well, but that's the learning curve. That's how you would learn the language. Language learning is something that you need to get your feet wet. You need to do it and you need to experience it. So this is our idiom for today. Get your feet wet. Don't just wait for something to happen to you. If you want to learn the language, especially the English language, you have to do it. You have to speak it out. You have to do the reading. You have to start writing. Get your feet wet. I'm Jan Pa Thad Puton. Thank you for watching. Remember the name of my show? English in what? English in the mall. No, English in the garden. As you can see, I'm not in my garden. I'm in my library. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.